Okay, round two against Mr. GHP9170. He's playing Relic Hunters as well. So it's probably another Aura Tech deck. He could also be playing Asperian, though I don't usually see that very often. Or, or a Robot deck. Okay, uh, he'll also be playing Zombies. Relic Hunter is a really versatile card. Uh, that's why it's really strong to uh, own a place out of this card. Uh, it just goes in a lot of different decks. So he's playing a Nova deck. Uh, Nova is very good with for Relic Hunter. <clears throat> so what I'm going to play is Abyssal Brute and... I could play Leyline Demon to trigger the... Uh, because I know he has Relic Scouts in his deck, so he's probably playing Asperian Sage and uh, Energy Surges and stuff like that. So if I play Leyline Demon, I'm, I don't I don't get to play Zombie, I don't get to play Tomb Pillager, which doesn't matter. Zombie Titan is what I'd be playing here instead, uh, which would be a 7-7, which doesn't kill Nova because he'd replace the Seedling to make it a 4-8. It would still kill it in two turns, but pretty much anything kills Nova in two turns. Uh, so I think it's better just to play the Leyline Demon, uh, because I know he has Relic Scouts. Uh, therefore, he will, at some point, play some spells, free spells. And I think it's better to play a Pistol Brute in the side lane in case I draw a Dread Knight next turn. <clears throat> I mean, I could Discordant Strike the Seedling and Nova, but that doesn't really do anything, so I didn't really talk about it. Uh, and then i probably exile a ch 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 Zombie Titan, maybe? I'm not sure whether it's better to exile a Zombie Titan into Tomb Pillager. I might actually just play the Dread Knight and Tomb Builder this turn. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Uh, if my opponent plays something, I really need to Dire Hound. I'm definitely playing the Dread Knight next turn because it's a really important to level. Like, even if it doesn't pump anything, uh, which eh, you probably want to play it when it pumps something. But if it doesn't, uh, it gets plus four, plus four to everything with the regenerate ring too, which is huge. If you have just two creatures with regen, that's you have plus eight, plus eight across the board. And then plus six, plus six at ring three. So it scales really, really well. Uh, it's very important to level in this deck. Plus, if I can save my Leyline Demon this turn, that would also be pretty good. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Because it looks like he's going to play Experience Age, replace the... Probably just play a Experience Age here, and then replace another creature. Or replace the Seedling, because he didn't want to get in for an extra damage. I can understand that, I guess. And then he Lesion Sharded his Nova. Uh, which is a play I'm not too sold on. Because what I can do is uh, play Dread Knight to make it at least 6 power, because a Blissbrute will give it plus 1 plus 1 guaranteed, uh, and then Dire Hound it. <clears throat> and I need to kill this Nova, so I think it's still worth it to play the, the Dire Hound instead of like any of these other cards. <clears throat> Nova's pretty generally pretty important in Nova decks. Oh, I shouldn't have blocked the stupid Experience Sage. I, f I keep forgetting I have Zrat's Will on my deck because I'm not used to playing with it. I just thought I wanted to clear Experience Age off the board so he couldn't play Malice Hermit and get it bigger. But I probably should have just played towards, like, I hadn't drawn any Zrath's Will this hand, and it's pretty likely that he uh, doesn't play Malice Hermit. I don't know. Uh, I think I should have just left the Experience Age around, though. So he leveled a Malice Hermit and he leveled an Oros. Uh, it's pretty important to check what your opponent's level. So it looks like he's just playing a late game Asperian deck, so hopefully I'd be able to rush him down before he gets to his, you know, critical mass of every card in his deck is leveled. And he kills you with, like, Nova. <clears throat> Usually they only play, like, one Nova and uh, kill you, like, rank 4 Nova get you. Okay, it looks like I'm getting a free Leyline Demon this turn. With luck, it goes in the side lane. Uh, so there's an Asperian Sage leveling an Achillean, <laughs> and the other Asperian Sage levels Relic Hunter. So, looks like he didn't have too great of a hand. He takes his rat's wheel, but I have another one. So I actually get to play all my cards this hand. I uh, got his rat's wheel, the one that I'm not killing, because I want to kill all of his creatures. Then play Abyssal Brute for free, and Zrath. Uh, so it was a good turn for me. Uh, he, <coughs> If he plays three spells this turn, he still has a Relic Scout left. Uh, I get the Leyline Demon for free. But I don't know if I really want it, <laughs> because I kind of would have to replace something. So he leveled another Oros and a Relic Hunter, and then played Malice Hermit. Okay, so it looks like his Malice Hermit's an 8-8, eight, eight, which is not, not the greatest. Uh, but I did draw two Zombie Dread Knights, which is pretty huge. Uh, and they pump themselves. So this would be 7 power, and this would be... So I want to kill this Malice Hermit, <clears throat> so what I want to do is play both of them uh, to pump all my creatures and kill Malice Hermit. 
I don't think I played any Tomb Pillagers at rank, so I'm not guaranteed to draw the uh, the 9-10. Which helps me draw my other rank 2 cards. So he played the Nova. It looks like I'm still getting value off Zerath's Will. Okay, so let's Zerath's Will, his Seedling. Play... Uh, I guess it's better to play the Abyssal Root here. It doesn't actually really matter. Uh, no, no, no. Because this will be an, as a zombie, right? So it'll get at least plus 4 plus 4 from the Dread Knight. So it's, it'll have 11 toughness, which I believe still dies to Nova, right? Because it gets plus 3 plus 3 when you replace something. So maybe I just ignore Nova for now and... Hmm, this is kind of difficult. I'm not gonna ignore Nova because I want the, I want the damage on Nova, and I want to play all my, I want to play both of these creatures. If I play the Dread Knight first to kill his creature, uh, then I don't get to pump the Brute, so it's only gonna be a seven-seven, like outside of his lane, uh, which actually probably might have been better just because he's at thirty right now. So <laughs> I've got a lot of big creatures attacking him. So putting a seven-seven in this lane instead of an eleven-eleven in front of Nova is a little better, but this does pressure him to uh, replace a creature in order to keep Nova alive. Which is not irrelevant. Uh, Zrat's Will is very good against Asperian Sage, as it turns out. I'm probably going to Howl him. Uh, it's actually only for 8. If it was for 12, I would definitely Howl him, because he's at 30, and another Howl is pretty much his death. But for just 8 damage, I don't think I can do it. He leveled a Nova and a Killian, both level 1. Uh, so he's still playing for like rank 4, when he needs to, you know, start killing me. Uh, he's actually dead on board right now. Don't know how he's gonna reconcile that fact with, uh, you know, winning. So I didn't take a single point of damage and killed him really fast. So, uh, zombies are pretty good. 